Namaste guys, in this video I am going to teach you how to make a path follow animation in SOLIDWORKS. So to make a follow a path, first we need a part that is basically following a path and after that we create a part. So I am making all my parts in assembly as usual to save my time. So click here, click on new part, select the front plane. Now make sure you uncheck the external references. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Now click on polygon. Make sure that the number of sides are 3. Now click on origin and draw your polygon as per your requirement. Click OK. Press escape. After that select a line and make it vertical. Now draw a line from the center like this and trim the necessary part and make sure that you select uh, use a point because it helps to define in path mate uh, from where it's going to take the point ok click ok after that give the dimensions as per your requirement and give it a dimension of 10 mm but you can change it as per your requirement click on the word boss base select this line click ok Here you can see our origin. Now right click on path, make sure it's float condition. Uh, first exit the sketch mode, edit assembly mode sorry. Now after that what we need to do is click on the plane as per your requirement. For example I am clicking on front plane, press ctrl plus 8 and draw a sketch, click on sketch and draw the sketch as per your requirement. I am just making a rough sketch, press escape after that. Now exit the sketch, click on assembly, click on mates, clear selection, go to advanced mates, click on path mate, uh, it is asking for the component vector, so basically you need to select a point, so select origin, remember I select the origin of the part and after it's on path selection select this line ok click ok now go to motion study tab click ok and you need to go solidworks add in click on so solidworks motion and go to motion analysis make sure that your mate is free 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 ok now go to motion study click ok click on parts click on path mate <coughs> click on motor here you see the path mate motor so click on it select this face first you need to select the uh, path mate ok and it is asking for the speed instead of speed just uh, select distance let's say 100 mm click ok now click play Here you can see it is traveling a distance of 100 mm. Here you see it is rotating. So to control it that it doesn't rotate like this you need to make some changes to path mate. Let's see what kind of changes. Go to path mate, right click on it, click on edit feature. Move downwards click on follow path so that it always follow the paths ok click ok now go to motion study click yes click ok right click on path motor but this time just increase the distance to 200 mm 
क्लिक ओके क्लिक कौन कैलकुलेट यू सी डेट इट इज नॉट करेंटली फॉलोइंग आई डोंट नो इट्स एज ए बर्ग और वट बट वन एवर यू डू सम चेंजेस इन मेड यू नीड टू मेक अ मोशन आंसिस फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच और इन यू टैप इफ यू ट्राई टू मोडिफाई द प्रीवियस वन इट डजेंट वर्क आई डोंट नो वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट बट I tried many times and it doesn't work. I don't know what's the problem. So select the path mate. And click here. Go to distance, enter distance 200 mm. Click okay. Now click on calculate. Now here you see it is not rotating like the previous one. remember i don't know it's a bug or what but uh, but it is a simple way so i don't think anybody need to report something to solve works but just make sure that you open a new study tab most study tab uh, to do this so in that way you can control your motion analysis and you can control what is the direction of the face and you can also choose motor type to instead of distance you can choose Uh, you know velocity segments data points whatever you want so i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste